Welcome back to another video everyone and in this one we'll be taking a look at the Fuchsia OS's apparently what everyone is saying new UI now as we know this is not exactly that new armadillo was featured in one of my vid previous videos on the Fuchsia OS and it is actually pretty improved right now now I have a lot of sources new sources uh, that I've read and they are saying that it is apparently leaked ui now it is not leaked it's basically they have just compiled the fresh source so yes that is completely open source what you are saying it's not like someone has magically leaked a use uh, a ui from inside of google's source that they haven't opened up no it's completely open source and you can go ahead and make one right now so what i'm going to do is i have already compiled so i am going to show you all what this is all about so let me just get things ready and in we can launch it in three two one and there we have it booting now uh, we can see the new ui and there it is so yes this is what is technically a login screen uh, we have only one user guest uh, right now we'll see into the new user later if we can actually add one so let's go ahead into the guest user and see what this new user interface is all about so this is your screen it looks pretty uh, you know uh, seen before in one of my videos it look pretty much the same so once you click on the user icon you get this uh, kind of a quick uh, toggles uh, for your uh, volume and screen brightness of course this is sort of uh, maybe just for show it doesn't work right now uh, and especially the brightness is just running on a VM uh, you have your battery notification and your Wi-Fi notification as well as your uh, mobile network notification right here and that's it for this panel so once you click on the user icon back again it goes where it was so now we have two apps that are already available right here we have many more and we look into that so video play uh, for now at least for me it doesn't play anything it's just a blank screen uh, I am not sure if I am supposed to add my own video to it but apparently it's not working. So this tiny little dot right there is your home button. Once you click it you go back to your home screen. Now open mail. Now this is another uh, email application sort of like uh, inbox. If it will load I can uh, show it to you and uh, that's it about uh, I think it well it takes some time to load so we will leave it right there again I don't have a very very powerful system but I guess it is powerful enough to show you guys what's happening next we can actually uh, ask it to open up some more apps by just searching for them so one of them is hello and uh, it's a demo app for the material design user interface so it's called hello material and uh, this is a simple app just tap the buttons and it will just increment a counter that's about it the next app i'm showing is called cube so this is a 3d um, rendering kind of a demo and there it is a spinning cube and that's it working so a 3d rendered cube uh, and we can uh, minimize that uh, there is another app called open chat so um, sort of a hangouts kind of app mostly for chatting again these are uh, simply just a demo application nothing much uh, not that the spelling matters but again just a demo application uh, not much things work right now so again we can go back to the home menu let's try opening at uh, another app um, let's see now since there's no list I just have to practically guess if there will be any apps uh, that I can use
and this is one app I think gallery launch gallery so yes I was looking for the flutter gallery app now again I did feature this app in a, a previous video uh, and it is actually a very very smooth uh, from the last time I have used this so of course a lot of work has been done uh, to make it more smoother and um, to make it work better so just uh, we'll just go ahead and open just one uh, basic demo right here and move on to the home button again now this is where a few new UI elements come in and that is the multitasking part so when you drag down now this does remind me a lot of sailfish OS maybe uh, a little bit of inspiration from there but nothing uh, extremely uh, you know nothing extremely copied just maybe a little inspiration or similar design so you can actually uh, move these around wherever you want and even pair them with different applications so I have the flutter gallery and here in two separate tabs but now I cannot change it back to the previous tab uh, and maybe that's still in work again this is just a very experimental operating system so there we can change it back to hello world uh, then again we can combine maybe cube and chat app uh, we have this and let's try combining three apps now so yep we can combine three applications let's go for four so I mean you guys do get the idea so now we can combine two combined apps and uh, well you get the idea what I'm doing here uh, so so I cannot seem to go back to the previous application I will have to go into the home button and then select this so maybe if it stayed like this and not you know new app doesn't cover the whole screen uh, would be much better but then again this is a very experimental operating system at this point I'm not expecting something like this to be perfect um, the amount of development that has already gone into this uh, you know having an op operating system run from scratch and being this freaking smooth at this point and so early in its development stage is uh, you know it's a, a big thing on its own so yes uh, that is pretty nice to see uh, let's go ahead and try to separate them can I I don't think so not at the moment maybe if I hold that no okay uh, another thing we can try to separate them with is if I hold this yes now we can make it its own separate application there we go so again uh, this was as much as I could find in terms of you know, newer user interface in the Fuchsia OS again those were like uh, leaked whatever small video here you saw on YouTube but this is like the whole thing uh, and it's working you can go ahead and I do request you to try it out on your own go ahead uh, if you have Ubuntu install it if you don't and build this thing and it's a really nice project really nice to see uh, someone take um, one of it its own brand now no one is actually sure what the hell is going on with Fuchsia OS they won't tell us anything we are just simply hoping that there's some sort of announcement on let's say um, on the Google I.O. about this thing whether it's going to replace Android whether this is the Andromeda operating system whether this is going to combine Chrome and Android what sort of devices it's being made for and there are just endless amounts of questions at this point and not many answers so apart from that let's take a quick look at I don't know if I can log out but uh, let's take a quick look at the uh, add a new user thing uh, I haven't tried it yet all these things that I just showed you I had tried it but not the add new user stuff so we'll just let it load the guest profile um, wait for it and there we can click on add a new user username RLC 96 user ID 
let's see a b c create and login so i don't know maybe it works uh because my system is not necessarily the fastest so it does in the log it says creating user deck 96 with server a b c but then again on uh, uh, my system is not the fastest and another thing that isn't working at this point for me is the ability to connect to a network so if i use this script to do it it just says that it's not working uh, at all right now so i think uh, this was the script and if i add that okay so now it just decided to work so let's try the video play once again maybe and uh, see if it works maybe it needs network to work nope nothing uh, So I can't see anything at this moment. Uh, there were a few YouTube apps if I remember. Let's see if that works. So YouTube has its own app. Let's wait for it to load if it does. I mean it is loading. It is showing the loading screen. Maybe I'm not able to connect it. Maybe the QEMO uh, network isn't configured properly. But yes, YouTube has an app for this. So if it launches and you have a phone with this installed, at least you know, you know, at least you're going to uh, be able to watch YouTube. So with that said, uh, I think that's enough for the day. Thank you so much for watching again. Uh, this is not leaked. It's the official released source code. Go ahead and check it out. Links in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one.